Okay, the first thing you need to do to turn on your AEM software is go over to your AEM tuner, double click on that, that's going to open up your AEM tuner window. Now it's always going to ask you if you want to allow this to make changes to the computer, always click on the yes. That's going to open up any saved maps that you've already saved into your system. At this time, just close those maps out by Xing on the X. Make sure you plug in your lanyard to turn on your jet ski. You should hear your fuel pump activate at this time. To turn on your ECU, to connect to it, scroll up to ECU in the tabs window. Click on that. You open up a tab bar. Go to connect to ECU. That's going to ask you for your password. Currently, our passwords are set at PEAK, which is P-E-A-K. You can change those passwords at any time once you open it up. This is going to turn on your software, which is going to open up uh, your calibration that's already downloaded in your ECU. It's going to always open up on the main tuning window. First thing, we're going to scroll up to our tools window. These are your tabs, which are your different options. We're going to go to our tools window and scroll down to configure outputs. Click on that. That's going to open up the windows. These are our two GPIO pins that must be activated to operate the system. This is your fuel pump. The pin must be enabled up here and this is our general purpose. Um, same thing if you click on general purpose. This is our general purpose settings. The pin must be enabled. Both those pins must be turned on to operate them. If they are switched for some reason, your general purpose is up top and your fuel pump is down below, your fuel pump will run all the time. It's simply just to switch those around. They must be enabled. You can always just X out and then um, go back to your main tuning window. Now the different um, channels over here, this is any live data that's operating. Before you operate, you must make sure that your TPS, which is your throttle setting, is set at the right percentages. Why it's at idle, check your percentages and then hold it at wide open. If you see it says 100% and shows red, that means you need to set your TPS. To set your TPS, go up to what you call your uh, wizards. Uh, scroll down to set throttle range wizard. Click on that. It's going to open up a window. This is going to be set your TPS minimum volts. You want to click on that. That's where it's at right now with no hand on the throttle. That's going to set that. Scroll down to set TPS volts max. Make sure someone is holding the throttle wide open. Click on set your volts max. Um, once the hourglass window is stopped, you can let go. Go to close. And now what you'll find in the AEM software is that it'll still show the 100%, but it resets your idle. You never want it to say 100% at wide open. So in order to fix that, you'll go up to your sensors tab, open up your sensors. It's going to go to your options on your TPS. This TPX masks max volts here, that number, that 4.58. That needs to be changed to a higher setting. So everyone's a little bit different depending on your voltage so you can change it around. So just go up to like 4.68. Always click enter and that will enter it. Check your wide open setting. If you look over here to the left in the throttle it has your same percentages. Now it says 98.9. .9. Uh, that's perfect. Anywhere in 97 to 98% is acceptable. Always make sure after you make changes to your TPS or anything, you scroll back up to the file setting, open it up, and you always have to save your calibration. So, and if you want to save it as the same name, just re-enter the name. You can click on the uh, uh, name that you had or you can rechange the name to anything you would like but you must save it 
It will ask you if you want to overwrite that data and always click yes. And then that will enter and you can double check your TPS settings and they'll be in that settings. Now over here while we're in the centers page, if you ever see anything in red, that means there's an error. So right now as you can see this has the air temp volts are way high. This would tell me that the air temp sensor is probably not plugged in or it could possibly be a bad sensor. This must always be fixed if your uh, vehicle is going to operate correctly. So this is either typically a loose connection or it could be a bad uh, sensor. Your air temp sensor on the hydro space is the one that's located in the middle on the manifold. None of these should ever be in the red. Just like, just like your TPS, if it goes red, that means it's bad. The different channels to look at up here, these are your tuning channels, breakpoints, limiters. This is your rev limiter setting. Anything over here again in your channels is your live data that's currently reading everything. Everything down here is your main rev limiters. This is where your rev limiter is currently set in the window. 8800 RPMs. This is our percentages. Now further explanations of all these things you can always click on any one of them and if you scroll over to the right it will always give you an item explanation. Anytime you click on anything it will give you an item explanation. Now if you accidentally click on something and change the numbers as long as you don't save it or rewrite it into your data it will not accept it. If you change anything it will always ask if you want to save it. So um, that's basically it. So any questions, just give us a call. Thanks.